What's happening, folks? This is Tripler. Hope you're having a nice Sunday. And it is a quick hitter. So we're stopping at two garage sales and two thrift stores today. And we're gonna drop off the stuff that we got at the garage sale yesterday at the warehouse. And we do have to do a few recaps from previous episodes. So we got a big day today. At the same time, we still gotta keep treasure hunting because we are amongst the very, very essence of Q4. That means we've got to be prepared, we've got a list, we've got two full weeks of listing to just be ready, set, and go. Uh, I'm anxious, I'm excited, but at the same time, we have to be prepared, and that means we have to have the right inventory. So, come along with me today, let's see what we can find and get some decent treasure. I collect so many things, would you like? To share this journey with me, I will show you the prizes I got today. So come along so with come me, along with come me. on and join in the chase. chase. Yeah. So that was the sale. All right, we made our first stop. I picked up this new in the box Roxy watch set. I don't know why I got it. I thought maybe it might have a little bit of value. It's probably not worth much more than 15, 20 bucks, but I got it. A Cricut Wireless Q Sarah. I don't even think this is a touchscreen phone. This is a Kia Sarah Rio, but I don't know. And then a random watch that says Paul Frank, and I don't know anything about Paul Frank, and I don't know if this watch is worth anything. It does look like it's been used, but that's perhaps because the top has been off of it for so long. An old flip LG cell phone, a Canon battery, which this is probably the reason why I spent any money at all. It came with two batteries, one that had never been used, the other one that had, but it came with the charger, a um, couple other little accessories in there. So that's, that's definitely a good score. I know this isn't worth much, but I got a Linksys compact wireless little guy so you plug that into a non-functioning uh, wireless device and you get wireless and then um, I also got a wireless mouse and it did come with a little dongle so that was ten bucks probably could have gotten it all for five but I did it because it seemed like um, I was gonna make plenty of money back on that again I might have overspent but anyway moving on to the next sale Hello. So we can peek. Can't go in yet. Did you come by yesterday? Huh. They were open. Oh, okay. The phone kind of went over and got all the Hawaiian surfing trophies. A quarter piece. Yeah. Five hundred thousand dollars a piece. Really? For surfing trophies. Crazy. Okay. Surfing trophies? Uh, yeah. I mean, I would just never have guessed. Well, she never opened, so that garage sale didn't happen. But I did get to have a conversation with the guy who had been collecting for years, and he went through the gamut of what he had collected, and it was pretty extensive. He sold luggage back in the 70s, and he invested $1,000 to make 36. That was pretty cool. What he did remind me was to stay on it, listen to your elders because they know best in terms of the value of older antique type items. And in fairness, I really don't know anything about antiques and I sure as heck don't know anything about art. So it was fun, it was worth going just to have that conversation with that gentleman. Robert, if you ever see this video, thanks for the conversation. Okay, so the pickup at this uh, garage sale that you guys saw, I got two of these little VHSC tapes. They will sell for about 13 bucks. I got these uh, vehicle manuals, Volvo, Jeep. They'll sell for probably about uh, 10, 12 a piece. So for a $3 investment, I should probably make about 50 bucks on that. So, um, not a bad little stop. Looks like there's a side of a road sale here, so we're gonna check that, that out before we hit the thrift store. So, 
Hang tight. One more garage sale. Okay, so I've seen this thing more than twice. So I bought it for $3. So at that little garage sale, we picked up the Crosley uh, tuner, radio, and compact disc player. Three bucks. I have no idea what it's worth, but uh, I'm gonna guess the maximum for a used version of that is gonna be like $25. It's gonna be terrible to ship. There is a strong chance that it's just gonna go to a thrift store. Bad buy. Well, I'll look it up. We're gonna see it flash up on the screen here. I'm trying to guess now if it was good or bad. I'm gonna say it was a bad buy. short visit but we did pick up two items that will be a nice little return so uh, I would invite all of you when you go to a thrift store to check out the bag section because there's always high dollar items in there and they're easy to ship so just I would look into it So let's do a quick recap. So Goodwill, we spent a total of $9.98. We got a sealed copy of the complete first season. So I actually am selling one of these already. It hasn't sold yet. Um, I know it will. This one actually is a little bit rough. So the corner is bent here, you can kind of see. And then I picked up this Nikon camera bag and it's got a lot of inserts, right? And the Nikon bag it's, itself is, it's its pretty heavy duty. So I envision this is probably a $20, $25 item. Um, and when you ship something like this, you don't have to do a whole lot. You can literally put like a plastic bag around it and ship it as is. If you want to bubble wrap it, you can. I don't think you need to. And um, that probably wouldn't weigh more than a pound and a half, two pounds. So you should be able to get it under $10 depending upon your cost of goods. Mine was $7. My expectation on this is that I'll sell it for 25. With fees, I'm hoping to just get five, 10 bucks on it. So that's fine. And then the last pickup here from the thrift store was this stove blower. Never in my life would I have known that this thing ex exists. So um, it's actually, it's got a pretty good sell rate. Um, it's model PBAR-2427 and it sells for about 60 to 70 bucks. Hey folks, we also have a local pickup and best part about this particular local pickup is they're coming to me. So I'll show you what I get. It is of the variety of mid to early 80s video gaming. I think you'll appreciate it. What's up dude? How you doing? 
I'm doing great. Have I bought for something from you before? I, don't know. I feel like I, I have. I don't think I've seen it. No? I feel like I've just messaged you or something. Because I remember your picture. I'm like, I see this guy from somewhere. I feel like I bought a whole bunch of like old, like oh, didn't you that, have a huge yeah, lot? Oh, that was you. Yeah, dude, I bought I bought a whole bunch of stuff off you. Why Why are you selling it? You don't want it anymore? Uh, no, it's like... Taking up too much space? No, I just, uh, I don't know, I've been... You've been on, you were... More. You were unloading the last time we talked. You unloaded a whole bunch of stuff to me. Yeah, that was months ago that I said, you know what, I'm getting kind of bored now. I'll start reselling again. So, <laughs> so, yeah, I picked up, like, you know, a bunch of box stuff from some uh, some woman. Okay. It was all her stuff, like... Crazy. SMES, this, uh, Game Boy Pocket, oh. all, all matching, all oh. receipts and everything. Yeah. I mean, if you have box stuff and you want to get rid of it, just give me a ping if you want to. Otherwise, if you post it, I totally get it. Right. So, but always, always willing to take a shot at it before you post it. All right. All right, man. This hey, good, thanks man. for driving. Appreciate it. No you too. All right, folks. This is a great score. I am really, really stoked about it. I mean... Here, get a good shot of that. Look at that. I mean, the box, generally speaking, if you see these out in the wild, they're in terrible shape. This one has maybe a few dents in it here and there, but in general, is really quite phenomenal. Really. And then I'll, I'll open it up for you. But the thing I want to just mention here is I got this full, complete. Now, it doesn't have the game, but I have the game loose which sells for like $3. This entire set here, I got for $60. Now for $60, you go look online and see what this retails for. In good condition, the box in particular, working condition, everything complete, including the interior box, which I'll show you here momentarily, sells for about 150 plus shipping. So I, it's a great score. So check this out. Let me show you the inside. All right, open up the box. And what he did not show, which I'm surprised because he probably would have gotten way more offers, is he didn't even show this at all. He didn't show that he had the separate box for the power pad. Both cardboard, top and bottom. He didn't show that. I mean, I'm, I'm really shocked. Looks fantastic. Great pickup. Uh, at this point, that is it for the day. Thank you guys for joining me and um we'll see you next time thanks a lot oh and by the way please subscribe subscribe and like the video i want to keep making more of these but i'm not sure if anyone actually likes this i hope you do take care